What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. Uh, to those of you who may be new to my channel, I'm a big fan of movies and film. I'm a big fan of the craft of acting. So whenever someone notable passes away that I'm familiar with, I will usually do a video in tribute to that particular person. And I saw that uh, yesterday, one of the most prolific character actors in the past 40 years plus passed away. Mark Mogulis. He was 83 years old. I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. So Mark Mogulis, who portrayed the menacing, bell-ringing Hector Salamanca in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, passed away yesterday at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. He was 83 years old. Uh, no cause of death has been given at this particular time. His son, Morgan Margulies, announced the news. As the former drug kingpin who continues to hover over the Albuquerque meth trade from his nursing home, Margulies left an unforgettable mark on the Vince Gilligan television universe with barely any dialogue. In 2012, he was nominated for an Emmy for his performance in Breaking Bad. He returned as Hector... Tio Salamanca for five seasons in the Bob Odenkirk uh, led prequel series Better Call Saul where he infused a rich backstory into the character. He was born in 1939 in Philadelphia and Margulies moved to New York at a young age to pursue acting. With an early interest in theater he landed roles in productions such as Infidel Caesar on Broadway. He would go on to appear in more than 50 off-Broadway plays, including Uncle Sam and The Gollum. His breakout film role was in Brian De Palma's mob classic, Scarface, in which Margulies played the villain and bodyguard, Alberto, a.k.a. The Shadow. We all remember what happened to him at the end um, in that movie, or near the end of that movie. A longtime collaborator of Darren Aronofsky, uh, Margulies also, also appeared in Noah, Black Swan, The Wrestler, and Pi. He boasts over 70 film credits over five decades. Outside of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, Margulies had recalling a recurring role excuse me, in television series including The Equalizer, Oz, Kings, The American Horror Story Asylum, and guest starred on Californication, Gotham, Crossing Jordan, and The Affair. And, um, his manager said in a statement, he was one of a kind. We won't see his likes again. He was a treasured client and a lifelong friend. I was lucky to know him. Um, I remember him also in, uh, well, I know in Gotham, he played the father of both Jerome and Jeremiah, um, what was their last names? I know their last names, but for some reason I can't remember their last names right now. But the, the two Joker brothers, he played uh, their father. But Jerome ended up asking, you know, taking out his own father relatively early in that series. But I also remember him, I believe he played the landlord in um, Ace Ventura. Um, he's just been a lot of different things over the years. You know, a lot of different things that I can recall him being in and over the years. You know, just a face. You know, whenever you saw his face, you know that uh, that, that was him. You know what I mean? You know, okay, that's the guy from such and such. Valeska. That's the last name. Jer Jeremiah and Jerome Valeska. But anyway, anyway, uh, rest in peace to Mark Margulis. Uh, let me know what you guys think.